that's why I say, you don't need a pot that big unless you are an elephant. You don't need a pot that big unless you are an elephant. You don't need a pot that big unless you are an elephant. You don't need a pot that big unless you're an elephant, okay? Now drive your car, drive it round and round. Drive it in the city, drive it in the town. You could drive it to the mountains, drive it to the sound. You could drive it with a great big red nose on like a clown, but choose a car that's the right size for you and all of the things that you need to do, like grocery shopping, visiting your friends, staying on the road when it starts to bend, because a car is a useful thing indeed, but it is bad for the planet if it gets too big. It uses lots of gas, pollutes the air, so use a small car that will get you there, okay? Little squirrel came along and said, no, it's not okay. I am an American rodent. As an American rodent, I feel that I should be able to have as big a car as I want. It should be the biggest car in the forest. The biggest car in the country. It should be the biggest car in the world. One, two, three, four, so the little squirrel made up his mind. He would have a new car that was so shiny and fine that all of the animals would stand in line just to take a peek at it one at a time. It would be much bigger than the elephant's car so that everyone would know that the squirrel was a star. It would be humongous, gargantuan too. That's what the squirrel decided to do. So he grabbed his hammer, grabbed his wrench, hammer, wrench, scooby doo we doo And when he was done, sitting there in the sun was the squirrel's car, shiny and brand new. And it was 396 feet long. 214 feet wide. You could fit a whole family, about 500,000 million, billion, quadrillion squirrels, all the way inside. And that's why I say, you don't need a car that big unless you are an elephant. You don't need a car that big unless you are an elephant. You don't need a car that big unless you're an elephant, okay? You don't need a car that big unless you are an elephant. Now drive your car. Drive it round and round. You can drive it in the city, you could drive it in the town. Choose a car that's the right size for you. And all of the things that you need to do, like grocery shopping, visiting your grandma, staying on the road, saying hi to Sam, you know, stuff like that. You don't need too big a car. And that is the end of the song.